Uh, welcome to Dance Pete Presents, a cheeky chat with Chris Johnson, that is me. And today we have one of our top students from the DBDC, Miss Joanne Fisher. Did I get that right? Yes, you did, my friend. <laughs> yes. Okay, now, we've chatted occasionally, but not, not that much. So what I want to do today is actually find out, how the hell did you get into ballroom dancing? Okay, well, it really started when I was very young, like 13 years old, and actually even younger than that, and I danced till it was time to go to college. And I actually did competitions way back then, which is so different than it is now. But it was a big deal. I lived in Connecticut, and we went to Philadelphia, we went to New York, and as a, as a young girl it was ex so exciting anyway I went off to school went to college ended up becoming an accountant and did that for about 10 years and after that it it just decided I decided that that was not the thing for me um, as they say I'm really not a good bean counter so I went and um, decided to sort of be home with my one daughter, which was a little person, and that only lasted about three weeks. And I started into real estate, which I've been doing for over 40 years. And it's residential with uh, Sotheby's, and it's primarily in Connecticut, and I've been very fortunate. But the time came that I needed to do something besides sell real estate. So, I got into dancing for fun, uh -huh. just fun. And um, I met a very nice partner, and all of a sudden, like, dancing lessons were just not enough. And we just started into competing, which was very, very minimal. And then all of a sudden, I'm now doing three competitions in one month. <laughs> I mean, we had a little break there, obviously, with COVID, which was mm -hmm. what, what everybody had. But you know what? It's just so much fun. I go from such a serious day with clients to walking on a floor or on a ballroom, in a ballroom without any thought in the world besides dancing. Plus, I must tell you, it has been really, truly lovely to meet so many people from all over the world, not just the country. And I thoroughly enjoy it because it's, it's really become first my little hobby and now a little bit more serious. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I, uh, I, I don't get, how does... When I see you dance Peabody, you have such a good time. Like, how the hell did Kaka learn how to do Peabody coming from wherever he comes from? Um, he comes from Georgia, and the fact it was is that there was a competition where Peabody was really, really mm -hmm. yeah. um, accented. And one day he said, do you want to learn? And I went, sure whatever I know 15 20 dances why not do another one so we did and I must tell you it does take a lot out of you because you're really going fast well at least our routine is and it's just fun plus he really does love it and for me if I can keep up and do it with him he really loves it he's such a showman so that's how it started. Well, you definitely do keep up with them, and it is such, uh, so much fun just watching the joy between you when you do that particular dance. Well, it's it's just crazy, right? It's a crazy dance, and the faster we go, and the more we do, and the better he feels, and it's fine. I'm having the problem I had was that I used to do it after every four heats like i used to do it 10 or 12 times i was like no 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 that's gotta stop i like let's limit it to about five or six times but it's fun i love it 
and I really love to do everything, honestly. And I'll just keep going. I hope you do well. As I say, I'm glad that you took the time before the party totally kicks off to come and uh, well, talk to I, me. Thank you. I don't think I'm that important, but I appreciate that. Well, no, I, like I think, especially for our pro am community, it's great to you know know the people that they see every week and don't necessarily get a chance to talk to. Listen again. I'm going to tell you this has been a beautiful competition, and it was really, really, really so well run. Everything was on time. And every single thing before and after was top shelf. So thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, guys, I will be back with more from the DBDC. Thank you, Joanne. You're welcome. Honestly.